Welcome to another video on my home automation series and today we have another Sonoff product which was supplied to me by ITED uh, free of charge for this uh, review video and this is the Sonoff Mini and it's called Sonoff Mini DIY. So the DIY probably refers to the fact that just like the Sonoff R3 this supports the DIY mode which I'm going to cover well, probably not in this video, but in the Son of R3 video, it just depends on which one I'm going to release uh, first because I have both of the products at the moment. So uh, let's just talk about the, the Mini. I don't know if you have run across it. I personally never owned a Shelly one, but that's uh, something that many people told me that I should use or probably review. Uh, but I never did that and that's pretty much the same form factor and um, probably the same purpose what the what the Shelly one is created for and um, The mini is like a son of basic But I think the main purpose the, or the design principle behind this one was uh, to create a product which Somebody can use in conjunction with a normal regular light switch uh, to sort of make it smart so the whole idea is that just like a son of basic of course this is smart it connects to the wireless you can add it to your app you can control it from your phone um, but it has two additional inputs on the left side uh, which is marked as s1 and s2 and that's for the switch connection so the idea is that you wire it to a regular uh, rocker switch or toggle switch what you probably have already in the you know controlling your light but then it, instead of controlling your light, it controls your Sonoff as a direct physical input and then Sonoff controls your light. So basically this Sonoff has um, yeah, a couple of inputs uh, to put it that way. So you can control it over your phone, from your app, of course your you know, voice assistants, Google, Alexa and so on. But you can also wire a physical switch to it. So this might appeal to people who, uh, for whatever reason, they don't like the, uh, the Sonoff uh, touch um, switches um, or for whatever reason they you know, don't want to change your regular light switches uh, but you want some of the smart functionality. So you can keep your old switches, you can just drop in a Sonoff Mini and you can make it smart. This product comes in an unusually small box uh, it got a little bit damaged in shipping, so as you can see the box is hardly bigger than the actual product. Um, and we also get a small card which says, you know, quality check passed. Let me mute my phone, rookie mistake. And also get a leaflet which explains how you control it and how you uh, wire it up. And of course how you link it to the, to the app and how you use it in the app. And also you get a small bag with a small jumper, which again, it's for the DIY mode, I presume, because it's the same accessory that I got for the Son of Basic release free. And in terms of the device, as you can see, it's a small white plastic box with screw terminals on one end. So it's really easy to, um, you know, wire it up. On the other side, you just get some information Oh, by the way, I just need to go a little bit closer. So it says 10 amps, so it can switch 10 amps. Of course, any, everything else is just like on other so, uh, sort of products. So it's multi-voltage, it works in all regions. It has an external Wi-Fi antenna, which I guess is really good uh, in markets. I know in the US, for example, um, the, there is a widespread use of electrical junction boxes. Probably it's not so much an issue in in the in the UK. Oh, sorry, in uh, in Europe or in the UK. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You have a button which we really only use it for pairing. But it's it's the same kind of button that you get uh, on a son of basic. And that's that's all there is to it. There is no light or anything. And and of course the terminal. Well, oh, sorry, there is a light behind the button. And let's talk about wiring this son of basic. So if I read the labels from left to right, it says. N in, so this is neutral in, and you get a second neutral in, and you have live in, you have live out, you have S1 and S2. So obviously the, new, the two neutral connections are the neutrals that are coming from your mains power supply. So I have this lead which for the testing purposes terminates in a pigtail. And then the second neutral connection goes to the, to the lamp that I'm going to use as the device that I test. 
and then you have the live connection from the mains which goes into live in you have the uh, the L out the live out connection which goes to the lamp again and then you have the S1 and the S2 which goes directly to the switch so I have this switch which has uh, um, well it has like three connections so I use the common and one of the switch connection for this test and as you can see I use the really thin cable uh, because this is only signal so the, the uh, there is no mains voltage on the S1 and the S2 connection and the instruction specifically says not to connect it to mains so this is only signal switch signals uh, to the going out to the switch and going back to the son off so it knows what position your switch in so do not connect any mains or any other power to it because that will most likely uh, destroy your son off mini and you get the same connection diagram here in the document as well so as i said you have you don't have to use both of the neutral connections so you have uh, you have the neutral which goes to your load and of course it goes to your son off and you have the line going in you have the line going out so the four uh, two sorry the first four core, uh, terminals on the left are just like on the son off basic you have two in and two out in a different arrangement and as you can see on the s1 and s2 you connect your switch and there is another diagram how you connect a lamp to it and another diagram which is yeah it's pretty much the same it's just a different load so as it says, you know, never connect any live voltage to your switch or your switch connects. So for folks who live in an old house where you have an issue of, um, you know, replacing your old light, uh, light switch with, let's say, a Sonoff uh, Sonof Touch T1 or the TX series, um, you might run into the issue that you don't have a neutral connection in your switch box. Well, this device is not really going to solve your problem because, well, this is just another device which re requires mains power. So, you know, you have to have neutral to, to go into this one. Of course, you do have the option to actually put this uh, son off to the device uh, that you are actually want to test, you know, really close to that device. So let's say if you have a ceiling lamp, you put in, you hide it into the ceiling rows or, um, yeah, basically any other place but then you have to make sure that the the wires uh, to this son of run directly to your switch um, so I don't think that there's going to be any easier task than you know rewiring your um, existing you know house so I mean either way it's going to be a difficult task to to put this son of mini in if you don't have a life con uh, sorry a neutral connection in your switch box i will still see say that probably the easiest way or the best way is that you try to uh, install your mini together with the uh, with the actual you know for the physical switch because uh, for example it doesn't say in the documentation and i don't know how long this cable can be since oops sorry since we are talking about signal levels here maybe in a couple of meters in a small you know in a thin uh, cable it's going to be just too weak and it's not going to work so there most probably there is a limit how far you can place the the mini from the switch i haven't experimented that and it's not really mentioned in the son of website either so that's something to keep in mind so again you need a neutral connection if you don't have it at your switch yes you are probably going to have uh, an issue you have to excuse me for the crudity of this setup, but I physically run out of space on my, you know, Sonoff board where I have all the Sonoff devices mounted. I just have so much. Maybe I need a second board or just need another board. So I have just wired this device up here. So as you can see, I have the mains connected, so I'm not going to touch those screws anymore. And if I click on the switch, then the light comes on. And probably you can hear the relay kicking at each point. And now, as you can see, that it is not a momentary switch. You have the old style switch, which, uh, you know, rocks from one position to another. And then depending how you wired it, it's either the top position on or it's the bottom position. So that's it. I'm not going to go through the setup process because it is fairly self-explanatory. Basically, you just, well, you can refer to the instructions, but you, you take a pen or something a little bit sharp, you press on that button where you see the, the blue LED, 
and you click it and then you hold it pressed until it starts flashing quickly. You come to the app, you press, press on the plus button on the bottom part of the screen and then you select click pairing and you just follow the on-screen instructions. I have named my as uh, mini DIY and it works. I can operate the, uh, the lamp from here. So as I said, you can use the switch or you can use the, the app. And of course it works the other way, uh, the, you know, well, you can use both. So I turn it on in the app, I, come to, I go to the switch, I switch the, you know, flick it over and then now the device is off. Of course the only caveat or the only thing is that, you know, depending on how you use the app and the physical switch, the on position of your light is either going to be the up position of the switch or the down position. So if I press down, sorry, if I press down, now my light is on. And if I come to the app and I turn it off, now my, you know, this position becomes the off position and this position is the on position. But I don't think it's going to create an issue for anyone. So, and I would say that's pretty much it. But we haven't finished yet. So let's just go into the um, into details, which is not going to be um, surprising because as I said, after all, it's, a son of basic with you know slightly different connection and of course slightly different form factor but everything else is almost like a son of basic so it's a single channel switch as you can see the um the appearance of the like the ui appearance of this uh, uh, diy is the same as let's say a son of uh, really uh, any, well any other son offs and if I go into details, I get the same screen. So you have the big on-off button at the in the middle, and then based on the status, uh, the the background changes uh, uh, or switches between black and and blue. You still have the option to assign the webcam to this device, and you have the exact same button. So let's just go into details or into the settings. So you can delete the device uh, from your account if you don't need it anymore. You can go to the history, so it's all basically the changes. And then you go into the settings. The latest firmware at the moment is 3.1.0. Um, it has a the LAN switch option, which I haven't mentioned yet, and I'm not going to do it right now. You can set the power on state, uh, whether it you know goes automatically on or off when it it um, it receives power, or the, let's say the power comes back. You can disable the indicator, uh, which is basically that blue light there and you still have the inching option so it has the same you know momentary switch uh, functionality that we have seen for quite a few of the son of devices already and that's pretty much it so that's all you have in the um, in the device settings and on the main screen you have the the usual suspects so you have sharing you have schedules you have timers and then you have the loop timer and they work exactly the same as they work with most of the other devices so you have the the loop timer where you can set either on uh, you know looping on off pattern or you can set it to auto off or auto on the device i do have a separate video on that so i'm not just i'm not going to go into that detail in the timer you can set up some manual timers some uh, some usual patterns which you have to activate manually so let's say you can set up a, a timer to automatically turn off after an hour and on the schedules, you can have schedules which um, specific times where you want the device to turn on and off. So, and the, and the time can only be specified in, in month, day or minute. So there's nothing like a sunset or a sunrise. And um, you can also specify uh, what sort of repeat patterns you want to. For example, you don't want this to execute uh, every single day, but only you know, certain days of the week. I have my account linked to my Google Home account. So just like with any other devices, you can control it with uh, Google Home or Alexa. So I only have Google Home, so I can't uh, demonstrate the Alexa functionality, but let's try Google Home. Hey Google, turn on Mini DIY. Okay, turning on the Mini DIY. So that's how it works. I've already touched on the fact that um, installing this uh, behind your normal light switch is, uh, well, it is easy because the connections are very easy. The only problem you might face is if you don't have a neutral connection 
Um, of course, other than that, you have the physical problems. I mean, in the European socket, you don't have a lot of space behind the, the light switch. So I, even though it's really, really small, um, I don't know if it's going to fit. So, well, you just have to check it for yourself. And this is designed to, well, basically make a single gang switch smart. So if you have a double gang or a free gang switch, so you have uh, some chandeliers which have two separate circuits, well, that means that you have to buy two some of DIYs and try to, you know, scram them together into the same um, wall socket behind the switch. So, yeah, it is designed to handle a single switch and not a multiple switch. So just factor that in if you are planning to go full convert on your house and uh, uh, change all your regular switches to by using the Sonoff Mini. I also mentioned it with Sonoff um, Basic that you just have to be a real bit careful installing this because uh, even on the Sonoff Mini, uh, there is very little space left to you know, secure the wires and make sure that the wires cannot be pulled. It is probably more pronounced here because it's a, especially here we hear you have exposed um, uh, screw terminals here which are obviously connected to whatever wire so if I would touch those two middle ones those are connected to life so well they conduct electricity but the whole thing is that you know this is designed to be hidden away in in inside a uh, light socket or somewhere else when it cannot be physically accessed so make sure that you follow that yeah, design principle and you don't leave this uh, son of mini out exposed out in the open especially not where you know kids may be able to reach it this was my short and quick uh, review video of the son of mini um, I kept it short not because it doesn't deserve more attention but just because it has so much of the you know the functions that I have already explained in other videos so I don't want to bore you with you know a lot of repetitive content I still haven't uh, discussed the DIY piece of it but I either going to talk about that in a separate video or I'm just going to include it into my son of release free video because uh, I think that's uh, probably going to be a little bit longer content so that's the son of DIY I hope you find it useful thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video